How did you define a horror film? A horror film is a, um, defined by effect, the effect it has on the audience. Um, so if The Wicker Man has a, an actual effect, physical, visceral effect on the audience, then I think that's probably the genre that I would categorise. <laughs> It was upon a llama's night when corn rigs are bonny Beneath the moon's unclouded light I held a while to Annie The time went by with careless heed Till tween the late and early Fundamentally, that's what it's about. Um, and uh, Sergeant Howie's kind of quest for answers to find out the truth brings him into um, contact with a remote community. And initially, we think he is um, he's pursuing he's pursuing uh, pursuing the community or pursuing leads within the community. But the the whole film turns uh, the story turns and it emerges that they have been really pursuing him. So I think it definitely plays on our fears about the kind of sinister aspects of of remote communities and how they how they function and um, it, it conveys a sense of their um, the kind of there's it's almost like a parallel world if you like that's operating in some realm. Um, so I think that's really what it's about. I think it's also saying quite interesting things about um, the cycle of life, fertility um, and uh, the whole kind of uh, pagan ritual. <laughs> Much has been said of the strumpets of yore, of wenches and bawdy house queens by the score. But I sing of a baggage that we all adore, the landlord's daughter. Oh, her lips are as roses, her wine is a treat, her whiskey is good. Put my hand on her knee And she says Do you want to see? I put my hand on her breast And she says Do you want a kiss? Gently I think that's fairly commonplace that locations will be used um, to represent other locations um, and, and it, I mean it goes beyond just the highlands being used I think we we're beginning to see um, countries like Romania really um, making a, a quite a, a significant impact because they are able to offer um, authentic looking locations with um, cast uh, with, with crew that are you know relatively inexpensive um, to use so I, I think that the whole issue of location shooting is really it's really interesting the way some locations are used to represent other locations um, and that may have been the case with the southwest being used to represent the highlands but there are also kind of wider kind of implications of that in terms of the the whole kind of um, ethos behind location.
was just a uh, shock you know it just you don't expect that outcome you don't expect uh, Sergeant Howie to become the this human sacrifice and it has a huge impact on the spectator because it completely confounds your expectations of, of how the narrative is going to be resolved um, and you just suddenly you realise in a kind of rush that this character has been um, you know he's been really outwitted and and he's the one that's being um, pursued he is the quarry so it has a huge I think the ending has a huge impact um, not just visually with the, the the wicker the man and really dramatic location but it just had a huge impact because it confounded my expectations about how it was going to you know end <laughs> because it has a really distinct British uh, identity because of the use of the cast, the crew, the location, um, the, the kind of thematic preoccupations of the film um, and because it has a very kind of, uh, because of its cult status as well, it has quite a significant international profile um, and obviously the fact that it's just been remade um, badly, um, starring Nicolas Cage, I think all of these things tend to um, you know, raise the profile of a film and it has made it onto various lists. But listen oh God! Oh Jesus Christ! Inside you, burn and burn, belay. 